Hey there, this is Dirk Verburen from Megadeth and I'm here to talk to you about Drumception by Toontrack and Gear Gods. The concept of Drumception is to um, use uh, MIDI files. In my case, I went to the MIDI packs that um, I, I created over the years with Toontrack and to use those to build a song, which will then be interpreted by a number of musicians and I hereby invite all of you to create your own version of the song using the MIDI I built. I started working with Toontrack on the Metal Foundry. That's when I first actually got in touch with the company through Frederick from Meshuggah who introduced me to them. A whole new world opened up when I realized what a great tool it is not only for drummers and producers but also for any musician and so from that initial contact and that work I did on Metal Foundry came my idea to create the Library of the Extreme which is a series of uh, MIDI packs that kind of cover a wide variety of metal beats, mostly extreme metal stuff such as blast beats, uh, skank beats and all the, all the varieties and a number of fills as well. Over the years they've become I think um, a very widely used writing tool for a number of musicians. For example I've talked to people such as Carl Sanders from the band Nile, I've talked to Anders Nystrom from Catatonia, guys in FKU, good friends of mine, all these people have told me how much they enjoyed uh, using the, the Toontrack software to help them, which is awesome because that was kind of, like I said, the whole idea behind, behind creating these. You know, the whole concept of kind of modernizing drums seemed a little bit scary at first when, when, when I figured out that, hey, you know, our drummer's gonna be replaced now. My experience has been on the contrary. It's, it's actually opened up, I think, a lot of new work for, for drummers because it showed people that, you know, electronic drums are not just some kind of toy with, with silly computer sounds. They're actually a real instrument that you can use that has a lot of benefits and differences with acoustic drums that can play well in one situation or another. I plug my Roland V-Drums kit into my computer and I use, instead of using the sounds that are in the Roland kit, um, I use the sounds that are in Superior Drummer. It's not just sounds, it's basically a whole studio setup. You can, there's an infinite amount of possibilities for customizing the production, the way, you know, the drums react. And so basically the, the drum set and, and the brain become kind of the trigger unit and everything else is handled by Superior Drummer. And that's how I use it. So I do a lot, I've used it for tons of session recordings over the past, you know, five, six years. Uh, I use it for practicing on my own. I use it for my drum lessons when I have students over. It's obviously the whole advantage of having a silent kit. You can do it pretty much anytime, anywhere. For me, that's been the biggest draw is just the, the wide array of possibilities and, and the ease of use that Superior Drummer presents. Right, and look, like all the graphics of the different drums and stuff, I mean, they really went a big length with this, you know. When I first started working with Superior Drummer, um, we were at version 2 at the time and it really completely, you know, blew my mind and changed the way I approached songwriting and music and practicing and everything that goes with it. Now we have Superior Drummer 3 and that's gonna obviously take things to a whole new level so I'm really excited to, uh, to really dig into that. For the track I built for Drumception this year, I basically went through all my different packs and I kind of started out trying to find a good tempo and a few beats that felt good in that tempo. My idea was to create something that wouldn't be super specific. I could have easily put together a song consisting of a bunch of blast beats and crazy stuff. There are some in there, rest assured. I wanted to make something that, you know, guitar players and musicians from different backgrounds could delve into and create their own song with. I used all my library of the extreme packs, including the third one, which is all fills, as well as the metal beats pack. And I went from there and started building up something that I felt would be a good song structure. And then after I spent a bunch of hours on that, I let it rest, went back to it the next day and kind of refined a bunch of details. Of course, that's the beauty of using MIDI is that you don't need to stick to what it is. You can pretty much take it as a template and do whatever you want with it, modify it as little or as much as you want to. So, um, and that includes tempo changes. This is the first time that I really used my own packs in that way. And so I kind of got a glimpse of, uh, of how it works. 